Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Cepheus Protocol. So the last time we were here we were playing a very old build and I decided I was going to hold off on this game and give it a chance to go ahead and do some updates. They've done that. Now controlling the outbreak is a little bit more easier and I'm going to show you how I've learned how to contain the outbreak. So without further ado let's get back to it. If you guys find that you enjoy this content, this channel and any and all of my goofy nonsense and you know, I'll, I'll help you guys offer helps me out tremendously likes dislikes bell icon subscribing if you feel so inclined would help me out tremendously and I really do appreciate it likes dislikes also help without further ado let's get back to it so I'm just you know I'm just gonna max out our starting units because I don't really feel like building garrisons we're gonna start off with 80 units I'm just making life easier because I want to show you guys what you can do in this game uh, 30 doctrine points we're gonna balance it a little bit heavy enemies juggernauts sure and then we're gonna start I skip the intro because it's literally there's like no real intro it's just some dude being like hey we expect you to go do this now in previous playthroughs i would say honestly the game functioned better but that's just to my memory maybe i'm wrong uh you're gonna want to run this game as administrator and i don't care how powerful of a computer you have you're going to want to drop graphics as low as physically possible because from my experience, even dropping it to the lowest of the low does not help you. This game will lag, even if you set it to settings that the developers intended. So, yeah, right now, my biggest gripe with this game, it's not very well optimized. Now, how do you figure out where the outbreak starts? Very simple, just pay attention to your map as closely as possible. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unlock the Chinook immediately. Now... Yes, by normal means of what I'm doing. By normal means of play, you're not going to have this many Doctrine points. I just did this because I wanted to have an easy start. Because I'm lazy. But the goal of the game is going to be essentially this. You need to get scientists out. You need to kill zombies. Gather as much DNA as possible. You need 650 DNA if my memory is correct. It's 615. Oh, hold on. Alright, so the outbreak is starting here. It's very... Okay, so the outbreak started here. It's likely by the time I get a radio operator out, Patient Zero will be on this part of the island. So you can already consider... Consider this half of the map gone. It's already over. So what we want to do is we want to set up on this side. We can blow these bridges and cut her off. Patient Zero is a woman, if I remember correctly. If that matters at all. So Patient Zero is out, and she's very much going to be causing us trouble. So what I'm going to do is... If the game stops lagging for a couple minutes... It's lagging again. There we go. Yeah, the biggest gripe I have with this game is its performance. Like, as for what the game is, it's a really cool concept. I really do enjoy this game. I think it's neat. Um, Moving out. Its biggest problem is just genuinely its performance. That's really it. If you were to take performance issues away, this game would be fine. It needs more content, in my opinion. It needs more game modes, perhaps. But, again, taking that away, or I'm sorry, taking away performance issues, yeah, look, it, it already spread, so she went from here, she's already in this zone, so even if I blew this bridge, it doesn't save us. There's already a possibly infected population there. So we're going to go ahead, hire a couple more engineers, I'm going to hire four, and then I need to get a generator out. Soon as we get power, we're gonna get radio operators, and then we're gonna blow those bridges. You know, you're gonna hang out here, and you, you're gonna pull back because I'm gonna need you to pick up my radio operators, or at least pick up one of them. Now, you don't need your radio operators initially to be super soldiers. That is not necessary. You just need somebody who's smart enough to use a radio. That's it. You, you don't need a rocket scientist. So don't go overboard with it. Don't, you know. Don't try to get John Wick early on. It's You're only hurting yourself. The goal right now is containment. Your first goal should be containment. Secondary goal should be then uh, rescuing civilians. Once you've eliminated... Not eliminated, I'm sorry. Once you've limited... That's a better word to use. Once you've limited the outbreak's potential, when you've, elim you know, when you've limited how many people are out in the field, now you have a smaller population of zombies... You can then go ahead and start hunting down patient zero. Right, so we're going to pull you guys back. 
you're gonna run up to about here. And that should be enough to blow the bridge. There. Hold back. You, I don't need you getting hit. You're gonna land. There we go. The bridge is gone. Alright, get the sparrow out of there. You are gonna order another strike in a second. But your goal immediately should be to blow these bridges. Figure out what side the outbreak is starting on, and then blow the bridge. There we go. It's gone. Now Patient Zero is trapped. As far as I'm aware, Patient Zero does not have the means of rebuilding those bridges. Once you've cut her off, that's it. She cannot move. She's stuck on the island. There is no escape for her. But... That now means we have to go ahead and we have to start working on evacuation. I'm at your call. Be aware that sometimes your soldiers are the specialist of special snowflakes. Oh my god, PopCap is 11 for those? Jesus H. Okay, build it please. Yeah, when you give them a simple order like, hey, I want you to build this. They're going to sit there and just drool for a second and wonder, what am I supposed to do again? What do I do? I do the thing. What thing? They're, they're not, not the wisest. But sometimes you got to double up on orders. All right, so now that we've established what we need, we're going to go ahead and now we're going to start looking for our little John Wick soldiers. So, ten of you, we're going to build, or train, I should say, three of you guys. Two radio operators should be fine. And I'm just going to go ten of each of, like, the main fi uh, fighting force. And I should have ten of you. Cool. So that maxes out our population. Our helicopters are all stuck inside of one another. That's fantastic. You're going to land. You land there. You know what, actually, we'll get the Shawnees, and you guys are going to go to where the heaviest population is, which is right here. Alright, we're going to establish a safe zone there. We're actually going to do something interesting. We're going to build a double safe zone. That sounds stupid. I know. You guys are probably like, Nick, what the hell kind of stupid crap are you coming up with now? I, I might be special, but I'm... I don't know, I was going to have some joke, I completely lost my train of thought. I was going to be like, I'm super special! Like, no, no, it's just dumb. Okay. You're going to build there, we want to start spreading our influence. By building these facilities, we can then go ahead and start establishing income. More money, more crap. Now, I know I've given myself 200000 to start. You would think that would be basically god-tier stupid easy mode. Uh, I'm already down to 36000 So just like that, we're already running low on funds. And I have to use 36,000 to now build a safe zone. Now my goal for this double safe zone is going to be that we are going to wall off this area right here. Wall off around here. Maybe expand it down to here. Possible. And then shoot it down there. And my goal is going to be this whole area is going to be walled off. We're going to have two helipads here, two helipads here. If I could double it, maybe go four each. We're going to go ahead and build an evac zone. Right? We're going to grab as many people as possible. The least human population left in the city, that's less zombies available for patient zero to start grabbing. And that's our goal. So, I think everybody's on board. I'm at your call. Uh, you need to build a tent over here. Now, one thing, I don't know if I left factions on. I hope I left it on. Sometimes I'm a dumb dumb and I do stupid things like that. Do you have something for me to fix? Uh, you're gonna go ahead and build a tent there. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and roll our people out here. Now then, one thing I'm gonna give you guys a warning of: if you ever have to evacuate this area, do not set up helipads here. Don't set them up in here. It looks like a good idea because it's the entrance. People can pop right out and go right to the evac. Don't do that. Do not do that. Set up your evac pads here and here. For these two locations specifically, because if you do that here, the helipad, the helipads, the Chinooks will come from this chop, this air. Oh, I can't speak. This carrier, God help me. And what's going to end up happening is they can get stuck in these skyscrapers. 
and they never leave. Even if you delete the helipads, the helicopters will still stay there. So there is a very likely probability that you have now just lost yourself some helicopters. Now, I don't know if any more spawn, but you've effectively made your helipads now ineffective. So it's not an ideal situation. You don't want to do that. I'm just trying to figure out who I have available. There we go. Sometimes these guys get stuck on each other. They're they're a very close squad, you know. They're very they're really close to one another. You know, the battle brothers. All right, no, no, you're gonna go ahead, build that right there, and then you're gonna start construction on a helipad. If I can plant it right there, or not. Never mind. Screw me. I guess right. Yeah, get used to that. This game does that a lot, where its geometry is like, hey, screw you. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start walling off the area. Um, I don't think the zombies are smart enough to go over the bushes. You know what? We're going to wall it off like that. There we go. That's fine. And you are going to go ahead and start building a wall right here. We're building a wall. We're making it huge. It's going to be big. Biggly. Right, yeah, right there. That should be fine. That may seem absurd, but honestly, it's necessary. So now you, my friend, you're going to go ahead and build us, if possible, a second helipad. Now, I'm not sure how the game registers. The oh, son of a duck. That's patient zero, isn't it? No, it's just a zombie. And that's why you have attack helicopters nearby. So that way, if some infected sons of ducks decide to pop up and be like, yo, what's good? We're going to slow-mo so that way we don't get harassed while we're in the middle of working on stuff. What can I do for you? These only cost 600, so that's not terribly expensive. You're going to build there. You are moving, right? Nah, he's just really taking his sweet time. Uh, you are done, so you're going to sprint, and you're going to go ahead and build right over... Yeah. I can't build anything else. We already have our guys training. They're going to be out in about two minutes. So I'm going to have them set up right there. And then I'm going to have the Merlin land right over there, actually. Did I ever... I did. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Alright, you're going to help with construction of the wall. Uh, there, that should be fine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start upgrading these. Because what we want to do, reinforce gate. It's fine if the gate's not active right now. Actually, what I could do, I could start turning on this... Hello, the, the helipad, I can't speak. Um, I need him to build a generator. Actually, I need him to build two generators. Because what I can do is I can go ahead and electrify the fence. And that'll hold off the zombies. You know what? I can just do that right now. Why am I waiting for him? And then an electric gate. I actually did a goof in one of my runs. And I made these all electric gates because I was stupid. Um, don't do that. Definitely, definitely don't don't do that. You don't want to do that. That's not smart. Okay, so electric. There we go. You are gonna go ahead and build a lovely little generator right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade these all to electric because I don't know why I'm wasting my time not upgrading them. Oh, I don't have money. Maybe, do I have money? I have money. Never mind. We're good. I'm going to have to build quite a few generators. That is something you want to be prepared for. Uh, can I make this worthwhile anywhere? You want to be a little bit strategic about your generators, I would say. 
You don't want to just plant them willy-nilly because then it might be in an area where you need a generator. But lo and behold, um, that's kind of out in the middle of nowhere and it's kind of useless. You have something for me to fix. So you're still building, you're still building. You are almost done. Construction, build that. You want gates so that way civilians can run through it. Electrified gate. And then you're going to go ahead and build a generator. Now, why are you just standing there? Build. Like I said, the AI here is a little special. A wee bit. How long until our troops come in? 10 minutes. Or 10 seconds, I'm sorry. Uh, did I not order an engineer to run over here? Where are my engineers? They were just like, hey, screw you. We're not following orders anymore. Like, okay, bet. Like, you guys are douchers. Bro, yeah, go build. Me to fix. Give me more work to do. What can okay. I, do for you? I don't know where my other engineer ran off to. He kind of just gave me the finger and dipped. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's where I... Okay. That's where I ordered him. Okay, cool. So he's going to go there now. Alright, so we need now more generators. I have a bad feeling about this. I've got your six. Alright, so he's almost done. He's finished with his construction. If the game is lagging, there we go, it's back to normal. Alright, chopper's incoming for that. I'm gonna go ahead and build a turret now. This should hopefully help us hold the zombies back a bit. And we're going to build another generator about right here. Electrify the fence. There we go. Okay, cool. So now you, my friend, you're going to go ahead... Build. Can't build over that, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build this way. This should hopefully keep our zombies at bay. Hopefully. That's that's the key term here. Hope. Right now that's all I got. We'll set up a gun right there, and then we'll set up another gun right there, and that should hopefully hold back the dead. Evac choppers are doing their jobs, which is great. We're already pulling people out. Now, between these two areas, I think these are the highest populated areas, right? Oh, there's already... Already gunfire. Where? Yeah, thanks for blowing up my wall, asshole! I totally didn't, you know, spend time working on that. We're going to just set up the chopper, like, right about here, because it seems like I think... The, yeah, there's already dead over there. We're going to set up our helos right there, and hopefully that will deny the zombies before they decide to attack me. Now, where am I... Okay, there's my engineer. And I believe, if memory serves me correct, the zombies can slip in with the civilians. And you, sir, need to start rebuilding my wall. Okay, cool. So our people are finally deploying in. Why can't you move? Oh, this guy's stuck. Well, that sucks. I don't know if everybody's going to be able to get into this chopper. No, not everyone. Alright. That's fine, though. Uh, you need to go ahead... Oh, I'm dumb. I need you to build a generator right there. Did I not order more engineers? Or could have sworn I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Alright, now what I need to do is I'm going to have him go ahead and plant another camp there. You can go ahead and 
build one of these thingies somewhere else, I think? Or maybe not. Probably not. I think we've actually built up everything that we could on this part of the island. Yeah, we can't. Okay, so the most I could do is, like, upgrades. Engineer ready. Where's this dude? Alright, he's moving. So we're gonna get him back to our staging post. And when this guy is done building, he's gonna do the same. We're gonna have him go to the hot zone. And he's gonna help us build. So you're done over there. Let me freeze for a second because right now things are a little hectic. So right there should be fine. You search. Oh no, no, he has his orders. You're gonna build another generator right about here, I'd say. Build that up. Boom. 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 We're gonna turn that into an electrified gate. Another wall. Well, our secure zone is getting nice and secured. I need that helo to... No, I don't need you to... Wait, actually, is it ready to dismount? Yeah, yeah, they can dismount. Okay, cool. So this chopper is going to come back here. Load those guys up. So we're already under attack. I don't have any other engineers, do I? Okay, no, I don't. A couple operators. So you know what you're going to do? You three are going to hang out there. If the game wants to stop lagging, of course. That's That's got to be the first step. I thought I ordered three of them. Okay, I guess not. You guys are gonna hang out there. I gotta try to spread these guys out the best I can. I don't necessarily care what they are. Like, if they're special forces, if they're snipers, if they're grunts of any kind. I don't particularly care what they are. I just need guys guarding the gate. That's what I need right now. I just need guards. Okay, and then you guys are gonna wanna be over here, probably. And then you're gonna go ahead and build us a little outpost thingy here. I keep forgetting what that's called. Build all day. You're gonna go ahead and build us some sentry turrets. I'm probably gonna need to build more generators, honestly. With the kind of strain that I'm putting on the generators as it is, I'm probably gonna need more. To be perfectly honest. Do you have a target? So you, you, you're gonna hang there. Oh, wait, never mind, that's the wall. Alright, so you guys can just kind of hang out here. As they see zombies, they will attack on their own. So you go there, you hang out there. So these guys are basically our human machine gun nests, basically. And if I find that I have anybody to spare, I will go ahead and throw them elsewhere. Which I might actually have people to spare. Alright, my sentry gun is done. Now, there is another little neat thing I can go ahead and build. I'm going to build a bunch of medic tents as well as... Oh, that's a, we that's a weakness right there. We don't want that. I'm going to build medic tents and I'm going to build ammunition tents. And that will constantly resupply my troops. Alright, so you're going to close up shop. You're done building, so you're going to go ahead. We're going to lock this up real quick. Do I want that? Nah, I'm just going to make it a wall. You need a generator. There. Okay, that's cool. And then we're going to try to build another wall right around here, because I don't want the dead slipping in. I've never, in my experience, had zombies actually slip over here. But I would rather be safe than sorry. Uh, do I need people? I need people here, I've got your six. there, and there. That's fine. I should have stayed in bed. You're gonna go ahead and build another sentry gun right there. Oh, cool. He's just gonna do it. Nice. Where's my engineer? That's actually that, that position's fine. Give me more work to do. And there. So, we have a really good setup so far, and now that the whole area is walled off, I can start building other little things. I'm going to go ahead, and if the game wants to just be nice to me for like a few seconds and just not crash, which is very ideal. No, I'm not going to bother. I could build these little, um, 
holding centers, but that's not really going to be what I need at the moment. But my goal right now is going to be evacuation. That's what we need. We need to evacuate people. We need to get them the hell out of here. More people out, less zombies in. Okay, so that electric fence should do the job on its own. To get people to evacuate, if I remember correctly, we do need these buildings. So, if you're wondering why do I keep building these, it's just for the sake of evacuation. I think this guy can start building something else now. I think now it's just up to the helicopters to come in. Can I get rid of that car? Yes, I can. We're going to upgrade this post. I don't have the funds to upgrade it further. That gate is wide open. That's very stupid. Ah, uh, where else is my other engineer? Here he is. Cool. So, you're going to go ahead. We're going to put a ammunition tent there. And now this will keep these guys supplied. So even if the zombies become kind of a threat in terms of munitions, like if they start really hoarding us, we'll be okay. We're going to spread these choppers out, have them go hunting. You know what, actually? We're going to go harass the enemy. Let's go buy us some time. Because right there, that little miasma going on, that's where a lot of the out a lot of the outbreak is in these two zones. So, we're going to buy ourselves some time. Uh, if I... Not really ideal. If I go ahead and spin this... There we go. And now these guys, these guys right here will get medical and ammo. It's a little excessive on finances, I will admit that. But, this will help us long term. So we're going to go ahead and get a chopper coming in for these people. Get another helipad. What I like to do is I like to try to get as many choppers as possible. Just so that way there's more people. But they don't always rush. Uh, you're going to find situations where people just are going to get stuck and they're going to hang out here. So that happens too, so be ready for that. Uh, buildings. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Where's my other engineer? There he is. Alright, so we're gonna want a couple sentry guns over here to help these guys out. Yeah, you see that? You already have a group of civvies just chilling. They're looking to evacuate. We gotta get them out. We got zombies over there. How's my choppers doing? Look at that! They cleared it up! Now, Patient Zero can jump on the helicopters. You would think, oh, just send it the helicopters. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. It won't work. Patient Zero will jump the chopper. She will take it out. So that will not help you. I promise you that. It would be a clever idea to just send in the choppers and bring her down. It don't work like that. What did I say? They were under attack already. They are being attacked by something. Uh, what do I need? I need you to build an available ammo dump right about right there. You're going to be building a medic station. There, cool. Should be able to stick ammo right there, cool. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think Patient Zero brought down one of my choppers, and we have a pilot out there. So we're going to go try to save him. I find my helicopter. There's the Sparrow. Crap, another chopper went down. Uh, he's going to have to run. He's getting swarmed. He's gone. This guy needs to get the hell out of there now. Where's the Sparrow? There it is, I see it. It's possible it'll pick him up. This guy just needs to get there. I'm not sure I'm cut out for this. So far, there's no infected near him. I don't think they know where he is. But yeah, they brought down my choppers. Just like that. It's just that simple. This is a real get land simple, right there. Sir. And you're going to get in the chopper and bug the hell out. I, I, duty, I can always reuse him as a pilot for something else. Like, he can... He can drive APCs and whatnot, even though vehicles tend to have their own... Uh, what do you call it? their own pilots. 
Okay. I forgot entirely about these guys. So, let's see. Another med station right out here, I'd say. Like I said, these guys are special. Very, very special leads. Um, put another ammo dump right about there. That should cover everyone. Okay, I lied. Not everyone. Not everyone's getting covered. And this guy... He's also a little special. I guess you could say we're absolutely the special forces. Or as some of my uh, regulars, some of my regular viewers for the stream, um, they call it the, the very special forces. Alright, at the very least they have ammo, which that's a major necessity. That should be fine. Okay. What can I do for you? All right, cool. So they're almost done with their construction. You guys can just go ahead and land and dump your troops. You're gonna head over here. There you land. We don't really need the pilot. Actually, not screw it. We'll throw them into the front line. Why not? What's the worst that can really happen? You know what? I could destroy the barracks. That way I can get my soldier out. Just point me in the right direction. Dismount those guys. Sparrow out of there for a second. Barracks. And then... The game is gonna crash for like a second. That's always... Always just so appreciated. Right, where else can I... Uh, actually... No, you... Need to go over here. I'm just gonna start ordering these guys to run somewhere. Because I need them to go working on things. I need ammo. Yes. Right. No, that's on a sentry gun. That's why it's not going to work. Oh, that should be good enough. Oh my god, dude. Why do I need to tell you where to walk? Just just go. Again, the AI is... Oh, it's artificial, but it's certainly not intelligent. Okay, so these guys are good. Let's send two of them over here to support those guys out. I say support those guys out? I meant help those guys out. I'm dumb. Here I am talking about how dumb the AI is. I came and speak. Okay. You know what? Let's not get too close to the wall because some of the infected will kind of, you know, as I say on my streams, Aloha snack bar the walls. We don't want to, We don't want them doing that. We really don't want that. Get another guy over here. We're going to go build that. And then just dump them right there, I guess. There, I think I've about secured this zone. Like, this is solid. This is good. Um, can I build anything else? I don't necessarily build. I could build a second outpost here. But... Okay, we got artillery guns. That's going to be nice. I'm going to hold off on anything else. Oh, yeah. You guys need ammo and medical, don't you? So, we're going to put ammo right there. You, sir, are going to run over here and build medical uh, ammo. I'm sorry. Blah, I can't speak today. You go there and you hang out there. Then you're going to just hunker down right there. Well, these guys should be good. And I need you now building medical. That should be good for every- Now everyone should be good. The base should be secure. It should be locked down tight. We should not have any problems. Engineer, ready. It should be good. Uh, can I build one of you right there? Yes, I can. What can I do for you? I want to evacuate as many people out as possible before the infected actually get serious. If you look up here, you can tell what we're looking at. So right now, there's a current population of 13,000 infected. 140 civilians are still alive. We have confirmed 360 dead. And we have 2,000 evacuated. So you guys are going to land. Where is... Uh... Oh, no. She's still there. I don't need her to move. Um, you're just going to land. You're going to bug out over here. We're gonna upgrade those tents so that so now what I'm gonna do is for the sake of finances we're just gonna start upgrading 
all the tents we built. And this will now increase our income. Because I find all of them, of course. This dude could just dip out over here. Give me more work to do. I think that's maxed out. Alright, but ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about all the time we have for, for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, the next video, I intend on showing you guys what we can do going forward to try to assault the enemy, try to maybe make a dent? Again, the way for you to win this game is you need to earn enough DNA. And to do that, we gotta go on the hunt. So... Yeah, it's, not, it's easier said than done, so that's why I'm focusing so much on evacuation, because evacuating people nets me income. I think the most I could do is three helipads on each zone. So, I mean, not that I can't do more, it's just that that's what the game will let me use for evacuation. Now, I could evacuate my side of the zone, but, eh, this'll, this works. But ladies and gents, thank you everyone so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed. As always, if you enjoyed this channel, this content, my kind of nonsense. Any and all activity you guys leave on my videos helps me out tremendously with YouTube algorithm. Things like likes, dislikes, the bell icon, subscribing, if you feel so inclined, would help me out tremendously with the algorithm, and I really do appreciate the help. If you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for our Discord, where we do little community events. We'll hang out, we chat, we game sometimes, and I will see you guys around the next one. Thank you everyone so much. Love you all. Have a fantastic night. See you guys on the next one.